Hey folks, uh, let's take a quick look at how to implement row level security for your data in a universe. For our demo purposes here, I'm using this beautifully oversimplified universe which has just one fact table and one dimension and one of the dimension keys does not even have a dimension yet. But anyways, uh, the idea was to use a very simple uh, universe here and uh, convey the technique on how to implement the role of security so you can go ahead and do it in your own projects. So I have this fact table here at the dimension table, sales fact table and the region dimension table. Let's take a quick look at the sales fact table values. Uh, it's got a couple of dimension keys and uh, one amount here which is the measure and then for the dimension keys I have uh, the table values as uh, three dimensions oops uh, did I just say that three dimensions I meant uh, three rows for my dimension table which is EMEA, APJ and Emeritus uh, as you see in the universe the tables are joined based on the region ID now uh, I have created this very simple report again here which is displaying uh, the sales for all three regions go in here into my report and uh, it'll come up with all the well actually let's not look at this user it's going to, I'll explain why later I'll log to the different user here and if you look at the sales you'll see that all the three regions are listed in this report Americas, APJ, and EMEA. So now let's go take a look at what we need to do to implement the security. Uh, within your information design tool, you go to what is called the security editor. Say uh, you would select your session, log in with the user who has the rights to set up the security. I'm using the administrator account. Once the security editor opens up, uh, we will select this particular universe in question and insert what is called the uh, uh, data security profile. So I have my universe under this folder called ng. The universe is called sales universe. You right click on it and insert what we call a data security profile. Actually, I have a couple of profiles on it already, and they are the profiles that I have already created for APJ and EMEA. What we need to include here next is a security profile for Americas, so I can display it, uh, demo it to you. Insert data security profile, and I'm going to call it AMEO Americas Security. Go to the rows column here. Uh, I mean rows tab and then say insert select your fact table put a var clause on it that says the region ID equal to uh, 3 in my case 3 is for America validate it and then click on OK OK and seems to take a little while okay click on ok here and it'll show up here momentarily so as you see I've already created a security profile for APJ and EMEA and what I have done in those is very similar to what I showed you just now in the rows tab I have just uh, specified the region ID for that particular region for APJ security, I have assigned this security to a group called Sales Universe APJ. For EMEA security, I have assigned it to a group called Sales Universe EMEA. And for America security, I'm going to assign it to the group called Sales Universe uh, uh, America. So basically, I have three groups uh, one for each region Americas, APJ, and EMEA. Uh, 
and these belong to another group called Sales Universe, uh, Sales Universe user actually. Uh, and uh, once I apply security uh, or the data security to a particular group, one thing to keep in mind is that you need to click on save button. There was no OK button here, and so you need to make sure that you save. Now, uh, for a user called, let's say, I have a user called NG. Let's see. Users and groups. User list. NG user. Uh, actually, let me see. I can log in with the administrator here, actually. Or actually with this user called PW. Do you see how this PW user has all three regions available likewise if another user who has the security implemented on him or her logs in they will see only the restricted rows in my case what i have done is created three users called ng eme americas ng apj ng emea and i have added each of these users to their respective group like americas apj and emea so let's see what happens when I log in with America user. When the user clicks on the report, he will see he or she will see only data for America. When the user logs in uh security to see only EMEA, this particular user will see only EMEA. work faster please uh, and uh, let me show you the SQL that's behind this uh, ignore the R part for now so basically the SQL will automatically uh, append the condition that we had put which said you know sales back dot region ID equal to whatever regional implementation regional security implementation has been done on that particular group or user now let me show you what this or clause is about let's say if a user is added to two groups uh, americas and uh, emea as in the case of this particular user called uh, i think was it ng i believe it was member of You'll see that this particular user is a member of APJ and EMEA, Sales Universe APJ and Sales Universe EMEA. So when this user NG logs in, when the user NG logs and ideally he should see the data for two groups I believe it was EME and APJ that I showed you earlier so there you go EME and APJ this user as I mentioned earlier is able to see two regions because he belongs to two groups uh, the EMEA group and the APJ group so the APJ security has been applied on the APJ group EMEA security has been applied on the EMEA group and this is the SQL that was written in case of that user. It said uh, region ID equal to 1 or region ID equal to 2. And uh, that's how he, he or she is able to see more than one region. Uh, also take uh, show you something quick here that I had to modify to get that OR clause. Clause, I mean. So for the at the universe level, there is this data security profile options. By default, it is very restrictive, which means and. So in our case, if it was an and, I mean, you know, the ng user would end up seeing nothing. Let me display that quickly here. I will save this, and I'm gonna log out and log in again. Where did it go? Let's 
so this time in the usual auction and uh, you see there is no data the reason being the SQL that is generated at the back end actually says and uh, region equal to 1 and region equal to 2 which obviously will not fetch any data so I go back here to uh, row restriction aggregation for the data security profile and change it to less restrictive I could actually do it to moderative also but I'm just going to less less restrictive and save on it again this security is applied on the ng user the values is going to come in a region equal to one or two and then he will be able to see data for both the regions There you go. Uh, I am going to try uh, actually a couple of other things that I want to mention here. Uh, you have to make sure that when you save your report, you save it with refresh and open. That way, uh, every time a user views the report, it's going to go and refresh data and apply the security. And uh, what I showed you here to apply security using this uh, data security profile and doing the row level restriction and all that is ideal if you do not have uh, too much granularity in your security let's say if you wanted to implement security based on departments or you know countries or something like that ideally I would say you need to have a security table which you would join to your factor dimension table and the security has to be implemented on top of that uh, I will try and demo that later uh, in the meantime, let me also try and show you uh, how to do the save as, uh, I mean, refresh or open. And uh, hopefully this will be quick. Uh, but basically you have got the idea. You need to, uh, give me a moment actually. Uh, test reports, NG. Modify while that's opening up let's go back here and take a quick uh, do a quick recap of what we did so basically uh, we opened up the security editor we created uh, data security profile for americas and same way i had file for apj and emea each security profile uh, has a restriction on the row tab which says you know uh, where the var clause says the region ID equal to the particular region ID of the region and each security profile is assigned to the respective group uh, America security is assigned to sales America's sales universe America's group APJ security is applied to the APJ group and EMEA security is applied to the EMEA group and one other thing I changed is I changed the row level restriction to say less restrictive you could also leave it to moderately restrictive what that will do is uh, if you have inherited the security from a higher group uh, let's say you had two levels one where you were saying you know region and sub region then it's gonna do the and clause when you inherit a security like you know when you have region security and sub region security region security which has been inherited from a higher group and sub-region security which has been applied at uh, this level what you would see is the AND clause and when you have uh, securities that are merged at the same uh, that are merged at the same level uh, not inherited then you would see the OR clause so I'm just going to leave it as OR for our purposes since we don't have you know inherited security in this case uh, and yeah quickly going to show you how you're supposed to do the save as and then do the uh, refresh on open so basically when you save your report you would go to advanced and then there is this refresh on open tab you would just click on that and save your report uh, so hopefully that has given you folks uh, the idea of how to implement role level security uh, in a session later I will try and do a quick demo on uh, how to do the security based on uh, a table Again, uh, thank you for watching and uh, comments if any are appreciated. Uh, 
have fun implementing your security. Thank you very much.